fruit and veggies are supposed to be the healthy option. But what if I was to tell you that Australia's fruit and vegetables are sprayed with chemicals that are considered so dangerous they're banned around the world? I've spent a hellish few weeks witnessing the effects of these poisons in other countries, and it's a horror show. I've met a young man with no eyes, seen fish with two heads, trekked to a village full of horribly deformed children, and I've visited a farm on Queensland's Sunshine Coast where the animals are dying. Worst of all, the people who are supposed to be protecting us are pretending it's not happening. You're very proud of what you're doing. Gwen Gilson is mad as hell. What poisons are you using today, sir? Armed only with her video camera, this Queensland fish breeder is trying to protect her home. From potentially deadly chemicals being sprayed on the macadamia farm next door. My animals have died from the chemicals that you macadamia farmers are using and they deformed hey, tens of opinion. millions of that's, embryos. That's your opinion, Gwen. I mean, it's up to you to prove that. If you've got a case, it's up yeah. to you to prove that. But it just takes time. We just want you to stop killing in the meantime. I'm not killing. I'm not killing. So you believe you're being poisoned? Yes. For Gwen Gilson, it began with this horrifying discovery. Fish embryos born with two heads. This is an Australian bass that's got two heads. Then her farm animals began to fall sick and die. Oh, and this is Tootie. He's only been out for a little while. He can't walk. He's um, shaking. His eyes are twitching. We're pretty scared. Um, I've had, I've buried three horses. There's a stiffness in her gait. <sighs> no. All of the other animals, Jackson, my dog included, the ducks and the chooks, have all got something wrong with their blood. And now I've got a problem with my liver too. None of it made sense. For 20 years, Gwen Gilson had successfully bred fish at her Sunland hatchery at Noosa on the Sunshine Coast. Everywhere you look, there's just dead fish. Well, you macadamia farmers have got a hell of a lot to answer for. But Gwen's battle goes way beyond her boundary fence. It may have repercussions for us all. As you'll see, the impact of these farm chemicals, endosulfan and carbendism, can be disastrous. And in most places throughout the world, their use is illegal. When 62 countries go ahead and ban a chemical, they don't do it on a whim. They do it based on data and out of concern for their people and their environment. In Australia, we either have less concern for our people and environment, and I think that's the core root of it all, is we simply have less regard. I love fruit and vegetables, but now I am worried about what might have been sprayed on them. Because foods like avocados, potatoes, tomatoes, broccoli, capsicum, cauliflower, even eggplant are all regularly sprayed with a pesticide called endosulfan. And other fruits and vegetables, including one of my favourites, strawberries, are sprayed with a fungicide called carbendism. Both these poisons have been banned or withdrawn from sale from so many countries around the world. But here in Australia, those poisons are used on the food that you and I eat every day. I don't think the average person knows what chemicals they may be exposed to. Well, that's correct, because um, you look at it, if you buy a tin of food in the supermarket, it's got to have listed all the chemicals that's on it. You go and buy fresh fruit, vegetables or nuts, and there is nowhere that it tells you what chemicals have been used to produce it. Um, surely, you know, we should be in a society where we're allowed to make a choice. You've been to Sunland Hatchery and conducted exhaustive tests. Do you believe farm chemicals are killing Gwen Gilson's fish? Uh, yes, I think it's the most likely cause of all of the syndromes that have been observed. 
Scientist Matt Landos is the specialist fish vet Gwen employed to investigate. Where are these chemicals coming from? The ones immediately on the farm are likely to come from the closest source, which is a neighbouring uh, macadamia plantation. But it was Gwen who made an even more disturbing discovery. You can see his two heads fairly clearly. She found fish taken from the nearby Noosa River, which flows through the region's farmlands, were producing severely deformed embryos. We can actually see the, I don't know, is it a heartbeat or a pulse of some kind in the yolk sac. Further tests detected chemicals like carbendazem and endosulfan were now in the local lake and river system. Chemicals known to cause birth defects in humans. Carbendazem is a, a fungicide, but it's, it's quite well published that it affects the development of the embryo. Uh, carbendazem affects human fetuses. Cashew nut plantations have been sprayed with a pesticide, tons of the stuff year after year and the residue would wash down these hills and into the local water supply. The villagers were told it was harmless but that was not true. The pesticide was endosulfan and the locals were being slowly and horribly poisoned. In this remote corner of India the human suffering goes largely unseen. In the village of Padre, Dr. Mohan Kumar is doing his rounds. He's got a lot of determination nowadays. His young patients live in or near the local cashew nut plantations. And it was Dr. Kumar who first realized they were victims of endosulfan poisoning. Are you convinced that's the case? Yeah, definitely. No doubt? No doubt about that one. And later on, uh, it, it was scientifically proved here. The same chemical found in the drinking water of Gwen Gilson's neighbours in Noosa. OK, we're trying to make a bit of smoke. Meanwhile, the macadamia farmer is spraying again. I don't know if the smoke will show up on the um, camera, but they're spraying from behind the fire. So Gwen is lighting smoke fires on her own property to show the wind could be blowing the spray back over her fish ponds. There's my shed's coming straight over my hatchery. Look at it all. Farmer Troy Zeisema refused to be interviewed but maintains the chemicals he's using stay on his side of the fence. He's aware of your very last fish up. Huh? This is now a Gwen and Goliath battle. She's up against a powerful industry and a pitifully slow-moving pesticides regulator. She has alerted us all to the dangers of farm chemicals. But it's come at a terrible personal cost. Why not leave? I've got nowhere to go. I guess that's sort of one of the worst things. This is my home. It's really terrible that I've lost all my horses, my pets, my dog. Um, just, just stop. It's taken um, a terrible toll. Yeah. And it's no, you know, I mean, if you look around, it's a really a beautiful place to live, isn't it? But there's nothing nice about it anymore. It's like paradise lost. Australia's pesticides regulator is responsible for keeping us safe from...